Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alisa and this is Teacher Nora where I talk about my journey of becoming a small business owner as a former sixth grade teacher. In this video, we are going to be talking about setting up your Pinterest account and why this is so important. So a lot of people have a personal Pinterest account. When you are searching for places to go, recipes, you have your boards that you are that you already have set up. And this is your personal Pinterest account. If you are a business and you are ready to get serious about Pinterest and marketing, go ahead and start fresh. This is my suggestion. I always tell people that I suggest that you start fresh. I started my Pinterest from scratch, separate from my personal Pinterest account because I knew that I wanted to take my Pinterest marketing serious. So what you wanna do is you want to go to pinterest.com set up your business account and go to settings account management convert from personal to business all right it's that simple once you sign up fill in the information about your business so if you have a website put in your website here and claim it the next thing you want to do is to optimize your Pinterest account so what does this mean this means you need to be using keywords in your Pinterest account where do we use keywords in our Pinterest account I'm going to show you the first place you want to do keywords is in your name so for instance mine says teacher nor you can use your name so if you're Jane tree put your name I put a dash down the middle and then I also put two things that I want to be known for so I have teacher resources and Pinterest marketing because that is something that I am actively working on and using in my Pinterest account or talking about in my Pinterest account the next place you want to put keywords and optimize is in your bio here you are going to use keywords my suggestion is whatever it is that you want to talk about you'll be selling go into Pinterest and put that in for instance, if you, I, I always use sixth grade as an example because that's where I spent a bulk of my teaching career was in sixth grade. So if I create sixth grade science resources, I'm going to put in the search of Pinterest sixth grade science and stop there. See what populates under sixth grade science. So you might have things like, well, actually, let's go to Pinterest and let's see. If I go into Pinterest and I put in sixth grade science I have sixth grade science sixth grade science projects sixth grade science worksheets sixth grade science fair projects sixth grade science classroom sixth grade science experiments sixth grade science classroom decorations sixth grade science notes sixth grade science classroom setup sixth grade science bulletin boards all of these are things people are searching under sixth grade science so if you create resources that fall underneath any of these, put them in your bio. For instance, you can say something like, my name is Elisa. Here you'll find sixth grade science projects ideas, sixth grade science worksheets, sixth grade science experiments, sixth grade science classroom decorations, and sixth grade science bulletin board and more. You can find more information at teachernor.com. Here we are hitting on five or six different keywords that people could be searching for. And when they put that search in, you ultimately want to come up under their searches. So it's important that you have your keywords in your bio, your name. So again, if you are, I'm going to use myself as an example, Elisa Broom, put a dash there and I could say sixth grade science resources sixth grade science activities this is where you want to be what you want to be known for i want to be known for sixth grade science resources underneath that in your bio put in keywords i suggest that you always start within pinterest because pinterest is going to populate things people are searching for so if people are searching for sixth grade science classroom decor you want to put in you sell middle school classroom decor or you feel your decor can fall under uh, sixth grade science decor put it in your bio okay it's so important for your keywords to be in your name and in your bio uh, so i hope that these small tips help you as you grow your pinterest account again your account is one of the first things people will find you under 
if you use it strategically and optimize it. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next video.